and sound docket. I have State versus Gary Lewis Simpson. He's in custody. Okay. Mr. Simpson up first. Good morning. Good morning. All right, Mr. Simpson, you're charged with one count of especially aggravated kidnapping and one count of custodial interference. Do you understand the charges? understand the kidnapping. Okay. All right. You want me to read over the charges with you? Well, what I don't understand, I'm charged with something that our dad's girlfriend does occasionally. Okay. So you have a right for me to read over the affidavit of the complaint. If you want me to do that, I will. Or if you want to waive that, then you can waive that. Would you read it, please? Yes, sir. It says that on or about May 4th, 2016, in Hawkins County, Tennessee, Gary Lewis Simpson committed the offense of violation of custodial interference. Um, further state under oath the essential facts constituting the offenses, the source of my information, and the reasons why this information is believable and reliable are as follows. On May 4th, 2016, at approximately 17, 17 hours, Officers responded to Hawkins County Elementary School in Rogersville in reference to a missing child. On arrival, officers spoke to the father, James Trent. James stated that his daughter, Carly Trent, age nine, did not get off the bus at the residence. After reviewing video of the school, it was found that the child's uncle, Gary Simpson, had picked the child up at approximately 13, 25 hours. Staff at the school stated that Gary had told them that James had been in a vehicle accident and the child would probably not be at school the next day either. James stated he hadn't spoken with Gary all day and that he had not been in an accident. James stated that it wasn't like Gary not to return home with the child and he hadn't given Gary permission to pick his child up on this date. At this time, I believe there's probable cause to charge Mr. Simpson with the above listed charges. Do you have an attorney? No, I don't. Okay, you have a right to have counsel in all stages of these proceedings. Okay, and you have a right to have counsel appointed if you can't afford to hire an attorney. Okay, you have a right to remain silent. Anything, any statement that you give voluntarily can be used against you in the future. Okay, you have a right to a preliminary hearing in this case, and I'm going to go ahead and set that for May 23rd at 1 p.m. That's your next court appearance in this court. Um, the conditions of your bond are that you can be released uh, pre-trial upon posting a bond in the amount of $1 million and that you shall also have absolutely no contact with the alleged victim or her immediate family and shall not come within a thousand feet of the alleged victim, her school, residence, or other locations where the alleged victim is likely to be present. Okay. Now getting back to uh, counsel, are you going to hire an attorney or are you going to ask me to consider appointing you an attorney or do I you? I need you to appoint me one. Okay. All right. Have you filled out an affidavit of indigency at this point? No, mine. I'm okay. Sorry. I'm going to ask that you do that, but I'm going to go ahead and swear you in and examine you to see if you qualify for appointed counsel. Okay. If you do, then I will appoint a public defender unless they have a conflict. If they have a conflict, then I will appoint other counsel. If you qualify, then I'm going to tax you with an administrative fee of at least $50. It could be as much as $200, okay? All right, so if you'll stand and raise your right hand, please. Okay, do you swear or affirm the testimony you give to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir. Okay, Mr. Simpson, are you gainfully employed at this time? No, I'm not. Okay, how long has it been since you have been employed? A long time. I got a handicapped son. Okay. So you have no income. Do you receive any government benefits? Uh, we have to live on the SSI. Okay. Do you own any property? And I mean you independently? No. Okay. All right. Do you have any money saved anywhere that no. you could use to hire an attorney? No, I don't. Okay. 
All right, court finds you to be indigent and finds that you qualify for appointed counsel. I'm going to appoint the public defender's office to represent you. In the event that they have a conflict, then I'm going to appoint attorney Kyle Bond to represent you. Okay? They're going to tax you with a $50 administrative fee, and again, your uh, preliminary hearing date in this court is May 23rd, 2016 at 1 p.m. And I don't have to pay $50, but I have that $80. Yeah, very well. Okay. Your Honor, do you want him to fill out the affidavit of indigency if, while he's here this morning? If he would fill that out yes, and uh, list everything there, but I've went ahead and appointed him counsel at this point. Thank you.
Take about a five-minute recess. All rise.